we usually go over a literal breakdown of the mere text of the summary, just translating it literally with little explanation. But we digressed last week to go into details to talk about images, and I'd like to finish that. So let's review what we did last week about that topic and then continue. So the author, may Allah Ta'ala have mercy on him, he said, ruh." Amongst the sins of the hands is depicting something alive. Depicting what has a soul means depicting something alive. Whether that were mujassam that means a figure or a figurine or a statue or whether it's engraved in the likes of a ceiling or a wall or on a page or whether it is sewn into clothing weaved into clothing or the likes of that And this is a case of agreement amongst three of the four madhabs, the Hanafi school, the Hanbali school, and the Shafi'i school. Not the Maliki school, we already said. The Malikis said that you can draw flat pictures or make, produce flat pictures, not figures. And we mentioned a detail from the Shafi'i school, which is that it's not even permissible to initiate a picture of something alive without making enough of the image that it could be alive, that what's depicted could live. Like, just the head alone cannot survive, or a body without a head cannot live. According to Ash-Shafi'i, it's not permissible to initiate depicting what can be alive without completing it so that what's depicted is enough that could be alive. When we say what's depicted could be alive, that means, for example, a head and a torso, that's enough for something to be alive even without arms or legs. And we said that the Shafi'is, although they forbade initiating images of what could be alive, even without depicting enough of it that it could be alive they said if it's already depicted you're not the one who initiated that but it's not enough of a depiction that it could be alive like it's merely a head without a body or a body without a head or say for example from the chest up only with no stomach not enough that it could be alive, then according to the Shafi'is, you can keep it. You cannot initiate it, but if it's already done, then you can keep it. And we said that according to the Malikis, you can initiate flat pictures. I'm going to say here, flat picture for the sake of ease. When I say flat picture, I mean not a figure. He said, is it haram to initiate making a sculpture of a living thing if you make it such a form with which the animal would not be alive? Well, if you understood what I just said, I don't know how's the question. You're patient with me, though, for, for making that comment. Yani, according to a shafi'i, it's not permissible to depict what can be alive even without completing it such that it would be alive, such that what's depicted would live. So, like the head without the body, or body without a head. Okay, according to Malik. Uh, I don't know.
Does this include photographs? Yes. Photographs, drawings on papers, uh, graffiti, spray painting on the wall, images on your monitors and screens. All of that. And on your uh, food products, your cereal boxes, all of that. So, the Malikis, they permitted depicting what can be alive. If it's not a figure, or a figurine. And that's a big accommodation for the people. So it's not a consensus that producing flat pictures is haram. It's not a consensus that producing flat pictures is haram. That's a big accommodation for the people because in this time, there's a lot of picture keeping. That's what Sheikh says. And he said, as we mentioned last time, Wa alaykum as salam wa rahmatullah. As for figures, the Arabic word here is mujassam. Mujassam comes from the word jism. Jism means body. So jassama means to make a body or to bodify. So a mujassam is something that has been bodified. I might have made that word up, but I'm going to use it. So that means a figure. Sheikh says, as for the figures that can stand alone, whether they were made of wood or iron or the likes, they are forbidden by the agreement in the law of Muhammad. The Malikis and other than the Malikis said that figures are haram. Although depicting what's alive, not to worship it, was permissible in the laws of prophets before our master Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Even statues that was halal, that was permissible. It's mentioned in Surah Saba, Ayah 13 of Surah to Saba. يَعْمَلُونَ لَهُ مَا يَشَاءُ مِنْ مَحَارِيبَ وَتَمَاثِيلَ وَجِفَانٍ وجفان كَالْجَوَابِ وَقُدُورِ الرَّاثِيَاتِ It means they made for him whatever he wanted of mihrabs Don't ask me what's mihrab and tamathil, statues, and other things. And we said last time that taxidermy is permissible, not haram. And we gave some hadiths about the case last time, review that. So let's continue from there. The author says, May Allah have mercy upon him. فَالصُّورَةُ إِن كَانَتْ عَلَى هَيْئَةٍ يَعِيشُ بِهَا الْحَيَوَانِ The image. If it were upon a form by which something would live. يعني, if it is depicting something alive. تَمْنَعُ دُخُولَ مَلَائِكَةِ الرَّحْمَةِ Such an image will prevent the entrance, the entering of the angels of mercy into the house that has them. Sheikh Samir said, if the Malikis are wrong about this mas'ala, 
then despite that it's permissible to take what they said, it will still prevent the angels from entering your home. وَلَوْ كَانَتْ فِي سُنْدُوقٍ دَاخِلَ الْبَيْتِ Even if the pictures were in a box inside of the house. إِلَّا إِذَا كَانَتْ عَلَى نَحْوِ بِسَاطٍ يُدَاسِ Unless those pictures are on the likes of a rug or a carpet that is stepped upon, because then it's belittled. As for the noble scribes, the writing, documenting, observing angels, they do enter despite the existence of any pictures. Because they do not depart the person unless one were in the lavatory, the bathroom, the outhouse, or while having sexual intercourse. And despite that, they know what this person does. By Allah informing them, yani making them know. Allah will make them know what that one does at the time they depart him, without them witnessing it. And likewise, they know what's in your heart without seeing that or witnessing that. All of that is included in the saying of Allah Ta'ala, وَإِنَّ عَلَيْكُمْ لَحَافِظِينَ كِرَامًا كَاتِبِينَ يَعْلَمُونَ مَا تَفْعَلُونَ It means, indeed, in your presence, there are Observers. Hafizin means ruqaba, watchers. Not just they write down what you do, they observe you. Kiraman katibin. They are noble scribes. Ya'lamuna ma taf'alun. They know what you do. Some of the very pious people don't forget that those angels are seeing them. Yani, a person would not sin when someone's watching him. So how, if, if he knows that there's angels watching him, then how does he sin? It's because they're invisible to him that, that helps him to forget that they're watching him or to push out of his mind that they're watching him so that he can sin. Subhanallah. وَأَمَّا الصَّلَاةُ فِي غُرْفَةٍ فِيهَا سُوَرُ حَيَوَانَاتٍ كَامِلَةٍ As for praying in a room that has images of complete living creatures, in a locker يعني even locked away in a chest or a box such that they are not seen these will not prevent the reward of the prayer as for who's praying while such images are in front of him, إليها, or while he's praying, he's looking at them, this is disliked in the prayer. That means it will diminish his reward. As opposed to his reflection in a mirror, فَلَا يؤثر. This will not affect, this has no effect 
يعني doesn't make your prayer makruh. أما إن شغل بها. As for if he gets distracted by it, if one is distracted by this reflection, فمكروه. Then that's disliked. وَأَمَّا لِحْتِفَاظُ بِسُوَرِ الْمَشَايِخِ uh, Alright, here's a question here. So to draw even a hand is haram according to al-shafi'i. Yani? I'll just repeat for you exactly what I said many times. Uh, sometimes... I'm not going to say it in other words because I didn't hear it that way or or sometimes I don't say it in other words because I want you to think about what I'm saying to you because sometimes and this is honest here sometimes some brothers and sisters they don't want to think about the judgment that's being said to them they just only want an answer only Sometimes I'll give you the answer only and leave you to not think, but usually I won't do that. Sheikh says, وَأَمَّا الْإِحْتِفَاظُ بِسُوَرِ الْمَشَايِخِ As for keeping pictures of sheikhs, and seeking blessings from these pictures, like wiping them, wiping pictures of Sheikh Abdullah or Muhammad Zahid Al Kawthari or uh, Muhammad Al Khair, the, 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 the Turkish scholar, or others, other images of famous scholars that are available. That's an ugly innovation. بخلاف تبرك بصورة الشعرة النبوية الشريفة as opposed to seeking blessings from the image of the noble prophetic hair an image of the prophet's hair so a person had an image of the prophet's hair and he wiped it seeking blessings from that وَصُورَةِ قَبْرِهِ sharif And the image of his noble grave And likewise The image of the Kaaba without people That's what I learned An image of the Kaaba without people in that image So someone kept it for blessings And there's one floating around if you find it It's from I don't know when, many decades ago Old picture, black and white picture فَإِنَّهُ أَمْرٌ حَسَنٌ لَا بَأْسَ بِهِ Indeed, this is a good issue. There's nothing wrong with it. وَأَجَازَ بَعْضُ الْمَالِكِيَّةِ بَيْعَ الصُّورَةِ الْمَعَمُولَةِ مِنَ الْحَلْوَى لِتُؤْكَلْ وَأَجَازَ بَعْضُ الْمَالِكِيَّةِ بَيْعَ الصُّورَةِ الْمَعَمُولَةِ مِنَ الْحَلْوَى لِتُؤْكَلْ And some Malikis have permitted selling images made, يعني, selling sweets that are made into images like fish, you know the red fish, the candy, or like other things like bears or other things all kinds of really images you know people make out of sweets لتوكل, so that they would be eaten so some of the Maliki said you can buy that and eat that that chocolate or whatever it is that's formed into a figure that's otherwise haram, some of the Maliki said you can buy that and eat that. Buy that so that it can be eaten. And the Shafi'is 
or explicit about the permissibility of keeping an image. إِذَا كَانَتْ عَلَىٰ أَرُضٍ أَوْ بِسَاطٍ يُدَاسٍ If it were on the ground or a carpet, meaning a rug that is stepped upon. وَنَحْوِهِمَا And the likes of those. مِنْ كُلِّ مُمْتَهَنْ From anything that is belittled. Some included there a pillow. They deemed the pillow like a rug. And so, uh, don't use a mushaf like a pillow. Don't sleep with your head upon a book of the Quran like a pillow. And don't put it under your pillow. وَكَذَلِكَ نَصُّوا عَلَىٰ جَوَازِ اسْتِبْقَاءِ السُّورَةِ الَّتِي تَكُونُ فِي الدِّرْهَمِ وَالدِّنَارِ وَالْفَلْسِ وَسَائِرِ مَا يُعَدُّ مُمْتَهَنَا And likewise, they documented the permissibility of keeping the image that is printed on coins, golden and silver coins, and other types of coins made of copper or lead or the likes of that and the rest of whatever is uh, disrespected وَيُسْتَثْنَى مِنْ تَحْرِيمِ سُوَرِ الْحَيَوَانَاتِ لُعَبْ وَيُسْتَثْنَى مِنْ تَحْرِيمِ سُوَرِ الْحَيَوَانَاتِ and excluded, not included, in the prohibition of depiction of living things is Lu'abu al-Banat a dolly for little girls. The dolly, yani the doll baby, or the doll for the little girls. That's if it's a doll of a little girl, and then it's going to be for a little girl. Not Barbie. A Barbie is a depiction of a grown woman. وَصَرَّحَ الْمَالِكِيَّةُ بِجَوَازِ شِرَاءِ ذَلِكَ لِلْبَنَاتِ الصِّغَارِ And the Malikis explicitly mentioned the permission to buy that for little girls. أَمَّا الصَّبِي As for the little boy فَيُمْنَعُ مِنَ اللَّعِبِ بِهَا He is forbidden, prevented from playing with doll babies. Not to mention the other figures that are haram like if he has G.I. Joe dolls those are dolls. G.I. Joe's and other figures. All sorts of figures you know about them. He-Man or uh, whatever. He will be forbidden from that. So he can't play with what's deemed boy toys. He definitely cannot play with a little girl's dolly. وَلَوْ بَكَى لِأَجْلِ ذَلِكَ Even if he cried because of that, he cried because you wouldn't let him play with the little girl doll baby, you still cannot let him play with the little girl doll baby. وَيُشْتَرَطُ لِتَحْرِيمِ اسْتِبْقَاءِ السُّورَةِ أَن تَكُونَ السُّورَةُ بِهَيْئَةٍ يَعِيشُ عَلَيْهَا الْحَيَوَانِ and for and it's a condition for keeping an image to be forbidden it's a condition for keeping an image to be forbidden an takuna suratu bi hay'atin ya'ishu alayha al-hayawan that the image would be upon a form that depicts something alive Yani, something could be alive. The amount of what's depicted could be alive. 
وقول بعض الشافعية بأن المذهب القائل بجواز ما ليس مجسما مذهب باطل مردود and what some Shafi'is said that the school that says that it's permissible if the image is not a figure that that's an invalid school what some Shafi'is said that the school that permits yani the saying, the opinion that permits what's not a figure is an invalid opinion is rejected mardud li'anna dhalika ma alayhi jumhur al-malikiyah because that is the position of the majority of the malikis yani that's a valid ijtihad cannot nullify it it's a valid ijtihad wa huwa madhhab al-qasim ibn muhammad ibn abi bakr as-siddiq radiyallahu anhum and that's the madhhab of Al-Qasim, son of Muhammad, son of Abu Bakr as-Siddiq. May Allah accept the deeds of all of them. Fa'idah, benefit. Fi kitab al-adab shar'iyyati ma nasuhu. In the book, al-adab shar'iyyah ma nasuhu, quote, وَقَالَ الشَّيْخُ وَجِيهُ الدِّينِ بْنُ الْمُنْجِي Said Shaykh Said Shaykh وَجِيهُ الدِّينِ بْنُ الْمُنْجِي فَأَمَّا سُوَرُ الْأَشْجَارِ وَالْتَزْوِيقَاتِ وَالْتَمَاثِيلِ فَمُبَاحِ as for the images of trees and uh, designs, designs like decorations, patterns, and models, he means here at Tamathil, he means models, not statues of things that can be alive. That's permissible. So a model is like a model car, a model building, plastic plants. وقال ابن أبي موسى and ابن أبي موسى said يكره أيضا. That's also disliked, not haram. فإن قطع رأس فَإِنْ قَطَعَ رَأْسَ السُّورَةِ أَوْ سَوَّرَ جَسَدَهَا دُونَهَا جَازَ مَعَ الْكَرَاهَةِ If one removes the head of the image or it depicted its body without the head, then that's permissible with dislikeness. That answers someone's question a few minutes ago. فَإِنْ كَانَتِ السُّوَرُ فِي الْحِيطَانِ وَالسُّتُورِ الْمُعَلَّقَةِ وَالْأَسِرَّةِ وَالسُّكُوفِ And if the images were in the walls and on the drapes, Yani, the things for the windows. For example, maybe there's things in the doorway too, some people put. Those hanging drapes and the beds or seats, asirra, and the ceilings. Kurihat, that's disliked. That's Maliki school. Wa in kanat fil busultwi, and if those images were upon carpets or rugs, wa ma yudas, and whatever stepped upon, 
Wayum Tahan and is disrespected for Ghayru Makruha, then that's not even disliked. The Karahu Ashabuna Rahimahumullah. Our colleagues have mentioned that. May Allah have mercy upon them. Intaha. Thumma call and then he said Wakala fil Muharrar The author of Al Muharrar said Ya Juzuf Tirashuma fi Sura to Hayawan It is permissible to take as a mat a mat or mattress what has the image of something alive? Wajaluhu wasaid and making such images into pillows. That's permissible. Intaha end quote. Wallahu alam. That's the end here of uh, what I will read for you from the details that the Sheikh gave. May Allah wa Taala have mercy on him. Do you have any question I can answer for you?